is Christmas in New Jersey. I'm here with Mamu and Deborah, and we're actually attending a Christmas concert in Montclair. <laughs> the little YouTubers. Class. And let me tell you guys something. I'm about to go live in a few minutes, and you're probably like, girl, looking like this. And let me tell y'all something. Last night, I was so sick. Like, I had such a bad fever. And thank God, like, I was praying. I was like, Lord, I reject whatever is trying to come against my body like we're not doing this like i can't i can't get sick um and so anyway tmi i woke up in just like a puddle of sweat and i feel so much better but last night i thought i was gonna have to like cancel this whole like situation because i literally um, I was just not okay. I was just not okay. So, I'm, I'm thanking God that I feel better. But I also, you know, just didn't have... Because it was a, you know... Because I just woke up. I actually slept very well last night. Thank God. Um, but I'm just not showing myself on camera. And that's not on that. <laughs> Let me tell you, like... Ouch. It is only the Lord that gives me the strength. Like, I mean, I was down and out, <laughs> okay? <laughs> there are already people here. All right, share audio in advance. Yes, let's play this song. So I am going to start the class by playing <clears throat> this song by the album, Not Just Stories. And, um... It's so beautiful. So at the end of the day, healing is not linear, right? Sometimes we expect healing to just be one smooth sailing road, and it's not. Sometimes in healing, we get triggered by something, or we see something, or we get a whiff of a smell, and it reminds us of somebody, and we go back to that place, or we see a car, and it reminds us of, of a moment in time where we were in that car and we had a particular argument <laughs> and we, you know, it was not good and it takes you back. And so that's why healing is not linear because sometimes certain things take you back. And so you got to dig deeper into that healing. And so I love the notion that time doesn't heal wounds. Don't don't ever let, and especially if you've lost somebody physically or if you are grieving something, you know, don't ever let people tell you, okay, you should be over this already. But Jesus does heal all wounds. That doesn't mean we go the rest of our lives just, you know, having this thing and 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 wishing that it would have been differently, but it's literally doing the digging. And allowing Jesus to heal the wounds. This may even be faster than others. 
but that doesn't mean it, it discredits the power of Jesus and how he can heal.